So you want to buy some Mold King bricks, or you just discovered that besides Lego, there is some healthy competition and want to learn more. Before you buy anything from this brand, let me tell you everything I know about Mold King that will help you decide if, it, if this is a right way to go. But before I get to the main topics, I should talk about one particular thing about this company. I must warn you that MK stole many of the original instructions without asking. In fact, they did it so many times that it would be easier for me to count sets that aren't stolen. So if you really want to buy a Mod King set, please check if this set is not stolen or if it is stolen, at least find the original designer and give them so extra money by for example buying one of their instructions. So by that out of the way, I will discuss three things about Mold King, which is affordability, selection of the electronics, quality of bricks. Also, I'm gonna mention some extra tips. Affordability. One of the main advantages of Mold King is its affordability, with prices often lower than Lego sets of similar size and complexity. Often you can see big Mold King sets with price of a small Lego set. Let's look for example at LEGO Technic 42157 John Deere Skidder. This set has 1500 pieces and pneumatics and according to LEGO this set should cost around $210. Meanwhile the cheapest deal I would find in my country was $165. Now let's compare it with Mold King 18202 Tractor. This set has about 2700 pieces and electronics and I purchased this set for only $90. This is such a huge difference because LEGO had to license a John Deere product meanwhile MK only needed to license a creation from its creator and MK has lower production costs. Also in LEGO set there is plenty of new bricks that MK can only dream of at this moment. Selection of electronics Many of the LEGO fans know that when it comes to making your build move on its own, then power functions motors were a best option. But since LEGO moved on from those electronics and switched to powered up electronics, <coughs> which they kinda suck, <coughs> huge gap in the LEGO market appeared and needed to be filled. And then brands from China Kemi came in offering their knockoffs of power functions motors. From this battlefield of Chinese motors, two brands emerged, Kada and Mold King. Let me tell you, Mold King has some sick selection of electronic components. They even made their own version of buggy motor, which I adore, and I can't wait to use it in my own creations. They also were experimenting with hubs until they made a powered module 4.0 and then 6.0. There is also a train fogger that creates steam, which adds more realism to a locomotive. Also, some of those motors are upgraded and performs better than original. But don't get too excited, because not everything is perfect. For example, their servo motor doesn't have a proportional steering. That means if you build a car with that servo, that car has only three steering positions. Straight, full right, full left, nothing in between. So if you want to supply yourself with some motors, you can either buy them separately from Mold King or buy one of their sets. Quality of bricks. When it comes to quality of bricks, I have almost no concerns about Mold King. MK Pieces comes from another company called Go Bricks. Their bricks are great and if some of them didn't have an original mold, those bricks would be very hard to distinguish them from Lego. The only problems that I had in is that pins and some of the axles rip through and out harder than Lego ones. Also some of the gears appear to work less smooth, but I'm not sure about it. Besides that, it is safe to say that those bricks are almost as good as Lego. So the best suggestion I would give you if you want to get some bricks from Mold King, you should be using Lego pins with them or supply yourself with tools that will save your fingers from eternal pain. Extra tips. The best advice I can give is to check the release date of a set you are looking for. The later the, later the set came out, the better. 
Most notable difference is in the electronics quality. On the course of MK development, their components have gone through some improvements and now they can be really efficient. There is one site where you can check most of the ModKing set's release date and it will also help you determine whether if set is stolen from a Bekobu or not. It's bricks4.com. It's a Chinese site, but you can just translate it to English and you will be able to understand it. As you can see, you can search not only Mold King sets, but also other brands like Kada or Assembo. So now I think you have a better understanding on what to look for in Mold King set and what to avoid. I think that this company is worth it, but when it comes to originality of their products, there are better third party brands to choose. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one. Do widzenia.